if you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. We will be talking about another disease in this part and that is pneumonia. Pneumonia can be caused by various types of bacteria plus some viruses and mycoplasma also. The most common bacterium or causative agent are these bacteria that is diplococcus pneumonia diplococcus pneumonia or streptococcus pneumonia and one more is haemophilus influenzae Hemophilus influenzae. These are some common bacteria which are the causative agents of pneumonia. Plus myco, uh, mycoplasma and some viruses. They also cause pneumonia. It spreads through droplet infection. That means epidemiology, that means when we are talking about the mode in which the, the disease gets transmitted, that is by droplet infection and these droplets, they are carried through air. So if an infected person while talking, sneezing, releases those droplets, that is how the infection is going to spread. So it is airborne spreading through droplet infection. What are the symptoms of pneumonia? Whenever there is any kind of infection in our body, normally the temperature rises. So here also there is fever, headache and body ache. headache and body ache. Now the most important symptom is there is accumulation of mucus and lymph in the bronchioles. So we'll write that symptom here. Accumulation of mucus and lymph in the bronchioles. Now, if the bronchioles get blocked because of this mucus and lymph, then the amount of air reaching the alveoli for exchange of gases is going to be less. So, this mucus and lymph accumulation results in difficulty in breathing. So, the person who has pneumonia finds it difficult to inhale. It is known as heavy breathing. So they have to exert to inhale. And that is because of this deposition of mucus and lymph. Now if for some time or for a prolonged time, if oxygen supply is less, then it results into nails and lips turning blue. They turn blue. And this is normally seen whenever there is insufficient supply of oxygen and when oxygen is not reaching the extremity especially that is when this kind of symptom is seen. How do we prevent it? We can prevent ourselves from getting this infection by isolating the infected person because this infection is going to spread through droplets. So if the infected person sneezes, coughs or even talks, those droplets, they will carry that pathogen. 
So this is how infection is going to spread. So isolating the patient is the best method by which we can protect ourselves. If a person gets this disease, if a person has pneumonia, then the treatment and I told you that whenever infection is because of bacterial disease, the most effective treatment is antibiotic. Antibiotics like penicillin, very effective in treatment of pneumonia. So predominantly it is a bacterial disease. Diplococcus, streptococcus or haemophilus influenzae, these are the ones which cause it. But sometimes it can be because of the other agents also. So it is considered as a predominantly bacterial disease. Now in the next part we will take up other diseases.